Hello everyone. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to extend my thanks to the conference team uh, for who are organizing this second international conference on automation, computing, and relevant systems for giving my uh, giving me a chance to present my paper here and accepting my paper. Uh, I am Jitesh Sulsiani and I am working as a assistant professor in a BV Raju Institute of Technology in Nasapur. And my manuscript ID is ICACRS481. And title of my paper is Application of Artificial Intelligence in Automobiles, Applications, Challenges, and Future Scope. So uh, I'd like to give you some idea about the structure of my slide. First of all, I will be giving you uh, the introduction. Uh, like, you know, I'll be talking about basic uh, introduction of this, then followed by the related work. And then I will be giving you some overview about the problem formulation. And then I will be talking about the uh, proposed algorithm, how I uh, propose to uh, give a solution to the issues uh, that are currently uh, posing as challenges. And then I move on to uh, results. I will give you some idea about results and uh, in a tabulated format and also discuss those results. And finally, I will conclude this presentation. So moving on to introduction. So uh, this uh, my study is regarding, you know, uh, it examines uh, diverse applications, challenges and potential future developments of artificial intelligence in the automotive industry. So that is part of my study. And also a thorough analysis done of the actions taken by the industry and the regulatory organizations to tackle the challenges uh, so that a responsible implementation of AI can be done in automobiles. And also like, you know, my study delves into some of the nascent developments uh, in the field of AI, such as edge AI, quantum computing and AI powered electric vehicle networks. <clears throat> and also there is, uh, in my study, there is extensive discussion around the uh, capacity of the AI to fundamentally transform the automotive industry uh, by facilitating customized and environment friendly transportation alternatives. And finally, the study discusses how it is go going to fundamentally transform our interaction with the autos and how the auto industry can be changed altogether, uh, leading to a transportation system that is more efficient, safe and sustainable. So coming to the related research, uh, as we can see in the references column, uh, there is a research by Leslo Kota uh, using this model of artificial intelligence in logistics. Uh, in this, uh, using this model and research, uh, 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 Leslo Kota has, uh, uh, you know, worked on the interaction of AI with the logistics, use of uh, AI in logistics, and has, uh, which has uh, led to uh, optimizing logistics operations using AI. That is the outcome of this uh, study. And then we have uh, Siddharth Paul and Prithvit Basu, uh, who have done some research uh, uh, in this artificial intelligence in architecture. Uh, so the research outcome is that they showcase the potential of deep learning uh, in automating the conceptual design phase. Also, they give uh, some tools which you know some of the architects can use uh, using for so that they can uh, create some designs and uh, can use their creativity to create conceptual designs. Then we have uh, Shen and Duluka. Uh, their model is uh, about technology supporting artificial intelligence and robotics application development. So their study gives deep insights into the tools and technologies that underpin AI and robotics. And uh, so they also talk about a significant development in the application landscape in the field of AI. And uh, then we have uh, authors Dharma and uh, Tambinan. Uh, their model is about re reinforcement learning and uh, so they are like you know outcome is actually they give very significant insights into the utilization of ai uh, specifically reinforcement uh, reinforcement learning in educational contexts and uh, then we have uh, uh, kalanin and colleagues uh, their model is about deep learning for electron and scanning probe microscopy so um, uh, their research shows showcase actually role of electrons in materials design and atomic fabrication leading to much advancement in the field of material sciences. Okay, moving on to uh, problem formulation. Uh, see some of the major challenges uh, that are uh, being faced by, for, uh, that are being faced for implementation of AI in autos uh, are uh, different aspects which involve technical, regulatory, ethical and safety considerations. 
so some of the major challenges uh, that the uh, this particular implementation of ai in autos is facing is issues regarding safety and legal responsibility protection of personal data and safeguarding against unauthorized access ethical decision making regulatory and legal frameworks and how interaction between humans and machines is going to actually take place so uh, using my algorithm i propose to give solutions to some of the challenges and the objective of this algorithm is to actually establish a uniform procedure for assessing the performance of uh, different like you know autonomous uh, ai driving techniques uh, so uh, uh, and by adhering to this algorithm researchers developers and businesses can acquire vital discernment regarding the merits and drawbacks of various autonomous car driving techniques so basically what my algorithm is trying to do is uh, give you, give a procedure and using this procedure different you know autonomous ai techniques or strategies can be evaluated and their respective strengths and weaknesses can be found out by this algorithm by following this standard algorithm and uh, some improvement can be done to those uh, techniques okay moving on to the next slide uh, this talks about some of the nascent developments which are happening in the field of ai for example edge ai so what edge ai is actually it involves processing of data locally on devices instead of relying on some cloud servers so due to this the efficiency increases and also like you know things like uh, data privacy uh, etc uh, are uh, actually resolved by using of edge ai and also the general efficiency of interaction between the driver and the and the ai autonomous ai systems also improves and another field is like quantum computing so that is also one of the new frontiers so which holds the potential to revolutionize complex problem solving tasks such as optimization and machine learning algorithms and also uh, there is uh, increasing synergy between the ai and the electric vehicles uh, uh, and uh, because of this uh, synergy between ai and electric vehicles uh, uh, it it can actually lead to uh, a future ch uh, change in how uh, interaction is happening and will lead to ai powered networks optimizing charging infrastructure predicting battery health and enabling intelligent energy management so these advan advan advancements not only enhance vehicle performance but also contribute to creation of smart interconnected ecosystems that will redefine the concept of mobility okay so uh, moving on to results uh, here we can see on the screen table 1 which is actually comparison of the safety efficiency and reliability scores so as you can see on the like you know column under authors uh, we have different uh, researches done by these different authors and the respective scores uh, for their methods uh, with regards to safety efficiency and reliability are compared in this table for example for zio and zao uh for the research done in 2022 the safety score is 9.50 which is highest and then we have uh, for uh, biggy and jack uh in 2021 the efficiency score is 9.10 similarly we have reliability scores for all the different research is done okay so moving on to the table second for results which is uh, comfort and response time scores comparison so actually comfort is uh, 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 the comfort score assesses the comfort level of a passenger while uh, interacting with the autonomous driving systems whereas response time shows uh, how quickly the system is adapting to the changing uh, uh, and uh, driving conditions so that comparison is happening between di different studies and we can see like you know there are different scores uh, given for each of the studies so the highest comfort score is for uh, uh fazal s l al subay whose research was in 2020 is 9.0 similarly we have uh, response time scores for all the different studies uh finally uh, we have a uh, table third which compares the environmental impact score and the overall score so environment impact score is how a particular research or a autonomous uh, uh, method impacts the uh, environment Uh, that comparison is done between different uh, research studies and also uh, that is presented in conjunction with the overall score so we we can you know comprehensively assess the different uh, autonomous ai driving techniques using this uh, study of this scores 
So uh, actually, uh, moving on to the discussion of this results. Uh, <clears throat> So, but different autonomous driving techniques and strategies were evaluated using the proposed algorithm. And uh, actually, some the benchmarking factors uh, not only included the conventional things which are taken uh, for the benchmarking, they also took into account some of the aspects of flexibility and environmental effect as well. So, basically, uh, the results are there in three tables. The table one compares safety, reliability, and efficiency scores of different methods, respectively. And table second compares comfort and response time scores effectively, uh, respectively. And finally, table third compares the environmental impact and the overall score respectively. So by comparing the scores, so we can find the respective strengths and weakness of each test technique or strategy and also, uh, also improve upon the weaknesses of each technique. Uh, so moving on to uh, the next slide, which is future research, research direction. Uh, well, actually, see, my paper uh, focuses on many aspects such as safety, reliability, efficiency, comfort, and environment impact uh, of diverse autonomous AI driving techniques. Uh, but the potential of uh, research in the application of artificial intelligence auto is very vast. So, uh, the future research direction can be directed into the following areas uh, such as state of the art machine learning algorithms elucidating artificial intelligence for the purpose of ensuring safety and establishing trust, uh, real-time data analysis and sensors, and how the collaboration is happening between humans and artificial intelligence and how, how improvements can be made into these areas. And finally, how to like you know have efficient regulations and standards for autonomous vehicles. So a lot of research needs to be done in these areas uh, to ensure that you know AI is getting implemented in an efficient and responsible manner uh, for the autos. So finally, like, you know, we move to the conclusion. So actually, like, you know, as we can see uh, from previous slides that uh, the application of AI in automobile holds uh, a great potential for revolutioning, revolutioning the transportation industry. So which can already, in fact, you know, usher a new area of efficiency, safety and sustainability in the transportation domain. So see, not only, I mean, they will improve the efficiency and also we have a great potential to reduce uh, traffic accidents and fatality, fatalities by mitigating human errors by using of the autonomous AI driven vehicles. So, and not only that, you know, by using this uh, techniques, we can also have intelligent transportation systems, which can uh, dynamically respond to uh, changing uh, traffic conditions which will lead to minimizing of congestion and emissions. Uh, once again, thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to uh, present this. Um, that's all from my side. Thank you so much.